What's up guys, your favorite fellow Earthling Austin Hires here and you know what day it is. It's time to announce the winner of this week's prize. Boom! Right there. That's the winner of this week's prize. It's a holy one dollar bill with a silver value. Thanks to that person for commenting on my channel, watching my videos, and being part of the family. Also, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to this person right here. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for commenting on my channel for the first time ever. So my question to you is, if you liked my videos in the past, how come I never heard of you before? Now that you don't like a video, you're going to leave a comment? Thanks, Ashley. I appreciate it. <laughs> to the rest of you guys, I love you all. Thank you for being subscribed to my channel. I made this channel so that I can have fun myself and just film the experiences I have in life. So speaking of that, today we're gonna be basically doing a day in the life of me. I'm gonna show you why I don't put up junk removal videos every single day anymore because I'm not doing junk removals every single day. I'm here at the office hustling, making that passive income. If you guys are still out there in the field, that's great. But I'm showing you how to get out of the field eventually, how to make passive income so that you can own a private island, so that you could buy that helicopter, so that you could drive around in that Mercedes. So I'm going to keep going and keep filming everything that happens in my life and putting it up for you guys. Whether you like it or not, that's up to you. And if you do, please hit that like button. If I motivate you, inspire you at all just the slightest bit, hit that like button for me and let's get on with the video that's enough with my rant today If you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit subscribe down below and uh, hit that like button for me too okay here's what happened with this bow yesterday I'll put some pictures right here on this side of the screen basically I took pictures of it and I posted it on eBay with a really nice description with all these pictures you see over here and then within an hour I had an offer of hundred and seventy five dollars I made a counter offer of two hundred and fifty and the guy declined it so about half an hour later I had a guy offer me two hundred and fifty dollars right and I'm all about counter offers, guys. If you get an offer, you make a counter offer. Someone's got to be able to work with you. You work in the middle. You don't just take their offer, right? So he said 250. I said 275. Boom. Like 30 seconds after I sent the offer, he took it. He paid through PayPal. And here I am today wrapping it up, sending it out to him in the mail. And we're going to have a super happy customer on eBay, get a great review. Good reviews on eBay help you out just like they do on Google for your business eBay is just another business, guys. So anyway, I'm going to send this out in the box that I got for free using the same wrapping that Dylan Dunn gave me, and I just sold it for 275 bucks, bro, in one day, and I didn't even have to do anything, really. So after I wrap this up, I just send it with my wife to the uh, post office, like two minutes from our house, and bada bing, bada boom, we're done. One thing I learned in life is that anything can happen at any point. As long as you keep pushing to be successful, your day could be tomorrow. Your day could be today. It doesn't matter what day it happens on as long as you push for it and you make it happen. I'm going to do that and I'm going to make it happen right in front of you guys on screen and it's going to be my entrepreneurial journey to a millionaire. I want to make a million bucks gross by the end of the year. That's my goal. And if it doesn't happen, guess what? I'm going to push for next year and the year after. But my goal is this year, right now. I'm making it happen. I'm making stuff happen. That's what you guys got to do. Wake up, make stuff happen. Don't spend your money, guys. Invest your money. And that is how you're going to be successful in the long run. Make your money work for you. For example, guys, you know I'm selling this truck. I have it posted on Facebook. I had a gentleman offer me to trade my hood and my grill. And as you can see, that is a different hood and grill. Guess what I did? I said, I'll trade you my hood and grill, but I want $400 on top. And I got my $400. And then 
He traded the hood and grill and I think it looks even better than it did before. Now I'm gonna still sell the truck for the same amount I was selling it for, make some more money from that, and it's a win-win-win. He was super happy with the hood and grill that he got, and I was super happy with making 400 bucks for doing nothing. I didn't even have to touch that hood. He changed it out himself. All right, here it goes with the new hood. That thing sounds beast, bro. A new hood and grill, looking real good. This is the stuff I'm doing on a daily basis, guys. Right now, I'm packaging up this bow, and I posted it yesterday. I'm making money. Look at these Pokemon cards. I've got like $2,000 worth of Pokemon cards there that I saved up from a child, and, and I knew they were gonna be worth money eventually, and now they are, and I'm gonna be, I've been an entrepreneur all my life, and I didn't even freaking know it. Couple thousand. $275 for the bow. I got $400 for the hood and my business still went out and made over a thousand dollars with one truck yesterday. Right now as I'm speaking with you, they're out making money. They're out making over a thousand dollars for the business while I'm here about to put some stuff online and make money from that. I literally put that bow on yesterday and sold it today. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. I'm, pa I'm sending it out right now. I'm sending the package out right now. Yo. All you guys are out there just, just focusing on one stream of income to be rich. It's, it's very unlikely that that's going to happen through one stream of income. So focus on making your money work for you. Take advantage of every opportunity that you see and take risks because high risk is high reward. And I'll say that till the day I die because I live by that. Man, I spend so much money. I've lost so much money, but also I've made so much money and that's why I have what I have. Dang, those tape cutters are sharp. I think this is worse than I get hurt out in the field doing junk removals. Anyway, back to packaging. Alright, there she is guys, all wrapped up, nice and tight. I got both sides closed in completely on the bottom and the top. So now all I have to do is print a shipping label and send her out. So I just generated my first successful QR code on uh, my new eBay account. And what that is, is basically we could just take that straight to the, the uh, post office and they'll go ahead and print us out a shipping label there and stick it on. Oh yeah. Awesome, yes. We are, we are the best. Um, let's go ahead and just put, you said you had like a sofa, a sofa, a sleeper couch. Just had any, any other like bigger items worth mentioning or? Yes sir, thank you very much for bearing with me that this fuzzy phone today. <laughs> you have a good rest of your day. Alright. Alright, bye. So it's about 8.30 and it's typical for me to do about 50 to 75, maybe even 100 push-ups around this time of day. Uh, I've been doing probably between 75 and 100 in a row when I can, but my shoulder's really been hurting, so I'm gonna do 50 right now. This is what I do around 8.30, uh, around 12 o'clock, and later on in the evening, I'll do my push-ups to uh, get up to 200 push-ups a day. I'm still doing that, but I'm not going to make another video on it because you guys didn't seem too interested in it. So I'm going to get my push-ups in and we're going to get on with the rest of the day. All right, so that was 50 push-ups, a little bit of stretching, but while I was down on the ground, I saw that it was just really dirty. I'm going to sweep it up real quick. <laughs> going to go give my wife this check for $186 to go put in the bank while she's out at the post office. So me and Richard were talking about it yesterday and I don't think I ever gave you guys a complete tour of my office slash movie theater, Connex. Sorry about the screaming in the background if you hear that. My kids are just a bit crazy sometimes. That's why I moved out here. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick tour of that while we're doing this video today as well. 
So as you've seen in several videos, I painted the whole thing chrome. It was yellow, just like this uh, stripe here. There's a piece of tape there. I have to go back over that. Whole thing was yellow. I painted it chrome with uh, rattle cans, the whole thing. I welded this frame in. I put this door on. We put framing inside of here. I'll put a clip, I'll put a clip right here of us framing the whole inside of this. Well, basically, this is a 16 foot long room. So yeah, we got 16 feet from, from this side to that side. And as you can see, we have enough office space for two uh, desks, two chairs in here. And then we have all this area here. Sorry about the mess. Um, but this is basically where I do my, all my recordings at. And uh, it's usually not this messy, but you know, I got my lightsaber hanging on the wall. I got my drone sitting on the shelf back here. So uh, look out for the next videos. I'm gonna have some drone shots in there. That's a 4K drone and it has really good uh, footage. I just haven't used it in a while. Uh, you know, I got my whole like Star Wars theme going on with the Mandalorian, Darth Vader, the lightsaber. Uh, actually, I have this really cool book sitting over here that's just like, you know, a prop. But look how big this book is, guys. It is the Special Acts um, Florida Laws of 1925. So this book is almost 100 years old. As you can tell, I love history and stuff like that. Um, down there is where I keep all my lights and everything to do all my videos when, they, when I want to make it all fancy and everything. Uh, I got my AC I put in the window. I put this frame in. I put this window in. Put the AC in. Uh, you know, we did the drywall, the crown molding, the lights, the whole nine yards. Me and Richard all by ourselves. Uh, this is my 4K projector here I mounted. And then I have my wires running across the ceiling back behind the projector screen. That's one of my favorite parts. I got this wireless remote here. Just push down like that. And down goes the uh, projector screen. And then it kind of covers up the mess that's behind it as well. I have my Xbox sitting back there. Let me go ahead and push stop on this. Boop. It'll just stop the screen right there. Yeah, I have my Xbox and my, um, my internet coming in back there. It's gonna be cleaned up back there. Eventually I'm gonna build a whole shelf system behind the screen. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, this is where I write all my videos down at over here, and um, and this is like basically the the non wireless button for the for the tarp here. You just push that, and it can go up and down from here as well. We have um, the light switch for the inside, and then we also have a light switch here for the light on the outside of the Connex because I work late out here sometimes and my backyard is really dark. We don't have any city lights around here, so uh, to walk from here up to my house is like, I need some light. And that's why we installed that thing. Uh, yeah, so um, this is like my little area over here. You know, this is where I sit. This is where I, my, I hustle. This is where I edit my videos. Um, and I put this little shelf up here. It's pretty cool. It's only about like, I don't know, four inches wide. And, um, you know, I keep the prize of the week up here until I actually send it out, which I'll be sending this out on Monday as long as the winner. Uh, just message me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll send this out to you by Monday. You know, I got my little Austin Hires, the king of junk on there. And, uh, you know, we keep our um, headphones. I got a watch. And then I have my little charger in here for my phone just right there. So basically, I can take my phone and just set it right there and boom, it's charging. And the wire actually goes out the corner and into this channel and then plugs in over here so it's not such a mess on this thing. You know, I put my controllers on this little shelf. Uh, I got some future prizes right here I'll be giving away. This is usually where I put my GoPro stuff. Um, and then I have more um, future prizes down here in this section. And these are the ones that I'll be giving away first. And then I keep these down here as well. This is how awesome my wife is, guys. I'm going to throw this in the video too because... This is, they're all, they're not quite out of order, but every single day my wife writes me one of these letters and then she puts the, uh, the date on it and everything. And, uh, and I just love her. Look at, look at all these cars I get every day with my coffee. So I just tell you guys that not to make you jealous or anything or not to boast, but just to, just to show you how. You can find a partner in life that just really loves you and really motivates you every day. And that's what me and my wife do for each other. And no, we're not perfect. We get in arguments. We fight. We cry. 
Um, but dang, we really, really are a great, strong couple, and I and I appreciate you, baby. Thank you for always writing me those notes every morning, babe. I love you so much, and uh, I appreciate you being my partner in life. Anywho, that is the inside of my office. Now, this is a 20-foot container, and like I said, there's only about 16 foot of office in there. That is because we left um, four feet of actual storage space right here. I'll go ahead and show you that. Open that up like that. Zoom out here. So we can actually open the front of this up and I have my generator. I have two of my welders, oxygen and acetylene tanks so that I can cut metal or melt it or whatever I want to do. So yeah, this is where I keep all my big tools to keep them out of the rain. And uh, this is probably the best storage they're going to get. Magnus, you're going to go send the package out for daddy? Yeah? Yes? Can you say yes? Yes. You got food in your mouth? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I love you. And then there's in the top. Oh, you got food up there. Okay, that's where you're keeping it? Mm-hmm. All right. Keep. All right, you go take that package for me and uh, and put the check in the uh, bank, okay? All right, <laughs> thanks. So I know most of you already understand that I am living a life and I'm just recording that life. And I'm not always doing junk removal. I'm not always in the field out there working. So if you miss those videos, I'll be putting up junk removal videos whenever possible because I love doing that. I love recording them and I love editing them and I love posting them. But at the same time, I have to make videos on whatever I can to keep my three videos a week and a short video every day. And uh, I do my best to either make it funny, uh, entertaining, motivational, inspirational, uh, informational. I do my best to, to put all of that into my videos or at least one of those things into my videos every time. So, you know, this is about my life. And if you guys want to follow along in my life and uh, I want the people that are subscribed on here to want to follow me, to want to see where I'm going, to not only see where I'm going, but what I'm doing and how I do it and how I get there. And you can learn from all that along the way because I'm literally taking a lot of the risk for all of you, for, for everybody watching. I'll take these risks and, uh, and I'll show you what I'm doing and I'll show you if they work and if my plans work, if my strategies work, if uh, everything I'm doing works or not. I'll show you that. I'll learn the hard way for you. That way you can take from my experiences and do what you want with them. Or you could just watch me for entertainment purposes, just for inspiration or motivation. So uh, yeah, that's what this channel is about, guys. It's really it's really just about my life and, and where I'm progressing. I know I started out with the whole junk removal channel because that's what I was doing. I was out in the field every day and that's all I could film was junk removal videos, so that's what I did. Now that I'm progressing, people are telling me that my videos are getting worse, but that's okay because it's not about how good my video is, it's about how good the information within my video is. It's, it's, uh, it's about if you like following me or not, if you like the brand Fellow Earthlings or not. Um, this is a, I want this channel to be a brand for every culture, for anybody, anywhere, just to let everybody know that we are all just fellow earthlings. We're not black, we're not white, we're not Asian, we're not, we're not, um, male and female. We're all fellow earthlings. We're all, we're all one. We're all together. So yeah, if you feel a certain kind of way, always comment down below. I don't really care, but I just want to, uh, let you know in these videos, what I'm making them for and, and what I'm passionate about. And uh, if you like it, watch it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. And uh, definitely like comment down below if you like my videos. Comment down below um, if you watch them all the time. If you've never commented on my channel before but you feel like you want to, just leave a comment down below, whatever you want to say. It not only helps me out, but it helps me to see uh, new names, new faces, meet new people. So I appreciate all of you guys that do watch my videos all the way to the end and that click on every single one of my videos because that helps me out. I mean, I'm making a couple hundred dollars a month off of YouTube. It's not much, but uh, 
I enjoy making these videos and I do work very hard on them. So not only today am I doing everything I should do in this video, I'm also recording this video, editing this video, posting this video, creating a thumbnail for this video, all today to get it posted for you so that I can hold to my word of posting a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and a short video every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and sometimes even on Sunday. So this is basically, you know, another, another full-time job for me. So whether you hit the like button, the dislike button, you subscribed or you unsubscribed, I still love you all and thank you so much for being a fellow Earthling. Until next time, I'm out of here.